close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice what it's doing as it goes into the body, where you feel it in the body. You want to bring the mind into the present moment so you can see what's going on. You particularly want to see what the mind is doing. Because as the Buddha said, the reason we suffer in this world is not because of things outside, but it's because of how we process things outside as they come in. And it's also how we go out and find things to stir up the mind. So you want to be able to see that. To see that, you have to get very still. It's when the mind is still that it learns. It's the same principle as when we're with other people. If you spend all your time talking, you don't learn anything from them. All you do is just talk, talk, talk. What comes out of your mind is the stuff that you already know. If you want to learn something new, you have to be quiet, listen, create a space where new things can come in. So we bring that principle into the mind. Try to get the mind as quiet as possible so you can observe it and see things about your own mind that you didn't see before because you were rushing past. And try to make the breath comfortable while you're here so that it's a good place to stay. Because you want to be able to observe your mind not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but also as you go through the day. So you can see what things get you stirred up, what things make the mind not quiet, whether they come from inside or from outside. If you're quiet, then you can see. If you're not quiet, you don't learn much. So try to get the mind still and observant and curious. It's not that we're just dead like a log, making the mind still. We're still so that we can watch, still so that we can learn, because there's a lot to learn in, in the mind. We know so much about the world outside, and yet our own minds are a big mystery to us. Sometimes. If someone does something, you ask them why they did it, they have to stop and think. They can't remember the motivation, they can't remember the reason why they did it. All they know is they felt like doing it. Well, when you feel like doing something, there must be a reason. You have to ask yourself what the reason is. And to learn that, you can't find the answer in a book. The only place you can find it is by watching the mind here in the present moment. So learn to develop some stillness inside. Get away from all the outside influences that would stir up the mind. We spend way too much time with our devices, our screens, and not enough time watching our own minds. Because as I said, as the Buddha said, the problem is not with the things outside, it's with what's going on in your mind. When you can solve this problem, then you can live in any world and not suffer. As long as this problem is not solved, then no matter where you go, you will suffer. So the choice is yours. But at the very least, the more quiet you are, the more you have the opportunity to learn. As a John Fuang, my teacher used to say, we have two ears and one mouth. And that should tell us something. Spend more time listening than you do speaking. You may have the opportunity to learn a lot of things that you didn't know before, things that will be useful, things that can solve the problem of suffering in your own mind. And when that problem is solved, that's the big problem. Nothing else can weigh the mind down. <laughs>